Hey guys, it's the Pink Plum Bob here. I am back again with another video. Now today's video is the long-awaited how to download mods from Clickist safely. Now the amount of comments I have been getting uh, requesting this video or or asking how do you download it? What I'm clicking on stuff? Blah 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 blah. Crazy, crazy amount, and they're on my Kawaii Stacy. Um, uh, Slice of Life mod uh, download, and I didn't show how to physically download it in the video. I cut to the chase, and I will talk about that in a second, why I didn't show it. Um, and, and on that video, the only comments I get is, how do I download? How do I download? So I'm hoping this video is going to be extremely helpful, not just to Kawaii Stacy's mods, but to everyone in general. Um, I was going to show off AdFly, but I simply do not feel comfortable in general using AdFly. So, today we are using the More School Mods as our example mod. So, basically I'm going to show you guys how to download safely now. A few things going on here. Um, this isn't a specific way how to download. This is how I safely download my mods. Um, it's not going to work for everyone. You kind of have to be quick on your feet and I will show you what I mean that in a second. The reason why I didn't uh, show off how to download in the mod review is because you really have to be careful of pop-ups and while I'm talking on film I really don't feel comfortable trying to at the same time save my computer from viruses and I really would not use Clickish or AdFly at all if possible but unfortunately some mods you just have to have and so this is why the filming of me actually downloading this most tools mod is pre-filmed so if you see me talking like I'm trying to I'm trying to speed it down to how my voice is actually synced up with the filming of it but that's why um I, it's not exactly, I'm not filming and downloading it live. So you really have to be quick on your feet. You really have to be careful with pop-ups and really close them really fast and just don't multitask. And I'll explain that in a second, but this video has been very, very highly requested. And I'm hoping this will be helpful. So right now we're going to get into downloading. All right, so we are getting into downloading uh, the... Better Schools mod or the More Schools mod. So the first thing we are going to want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. This is for every Quiet Stacy mod. Get down to the bottom and then click on Download uh, right there for clickish slash sims file share. Um, and then you want to click that. So this is for every Quiet Stacy mod. Scroll down to the bottom. Um, it should be there. So it's going to load. Um, and the first thing you really want to look out for is everything that's going to pop up. So you have different things that are going to appear on your screen, different things, and I want to make sure you guys know which uh, button to click to download and all of that. So this is kind of a two-step process to download Quiet Stacy mods, or mods from Clickist actually in general. I don't want to refer to this as a Quiet Stacy download a tutorial, but I actually haven't seen any other modder use uh, Clickish, so that's why I'm referring to it as Quiet Stacy. So you're going to want to do that. Um, you just want to be careful. Sometimes in the end, I'll show that off. Uh, you won't actually get to some file share. It's actually going to end up like just keep having pop ups. That means you're going to want to close out and restart. So while we wait for this to load, because I did slow down the footage, I want to say thank you so much, you guys, for your loving support. Thank you for everything. Okay, so we're here. It is loaded. So you see three download buttons. You see a click here. Click, I am not a robot. And then you are going to want to avoid all those pop-ups. So just wait to click until you see all those pop-ups appear. Do not click anything yet. So then you're going to want to click, I'm not a robot. And then you want to click continue. See, there's a pop-up there. Make sure to close pop-ups as soon as they happen because that can download things onto your computer. Before they even load, you should close them. So you can click, I'm not a robot. And usually a CAPTCHA will appear. Now, this isn't. if you do this, this isn't a bug or anything. It's just a CAPTCHA. You'll see them many times, whether you're downloading something or logging in. It's just a way to check if you're not a robot. I don't know why, but that's what you do. So I clicked everything. Do not click here. You click continue. You click the, the light blue continue button. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to wait for this to load. Obviously, this will be a lot faster for you. It's just taking a while for me because I did speed this video down. Okay, so the link is almost ready. Wait the 10 seconds. Now, immediately if this pops up, you have to 
Click cancel. Do not download Flash Player. If anything downloads that isn't a file from Sims File Share, you get rid of it. Do not click on it. Do not ever download Flash Player. It is a virus. Do not open it. Even if it appears in your downloads, do not click on it. So do not click the direct download link. Click the please wait, and then you will click um, the button there, the, the link button. Now, usually something's going to pop up uh, if you click on it. So just be aware. You're going to have to close it. Be really careful. And sometimes when it does that, you're going to have to do it a few times because sometimes that link will end up turning into Sims File Share, which is very strange, I know, but it will. So you make sure to close that out. When I first did Clickish, Yep, there it is, Sims File Share. It really never had all these buttons. It was just straightforward, but now it's not safe. So here you are, a Quai Stacy more mods, uh, more schools mod zip. So you're gonna want to fall, uh, download that like any other Sims File Share mod, and it's gonna pop up there. So just to recap, do not click anything that's downloaded unless it is the file from Sims File Share. Do not click anything unless I've stated to click it, just because it can open a virus. And I haven't even attempted to click it because I know it's a virus and I'm not going to ruin my only computer. Um, other than that, just make sure sometimes some file share, whatever reason, will not open. So just restart the downloading process. Do not open any, uh, don't click on anything. Just wait for everything to load just in case you start clicking and you accidentally click on something. So just that's the heads up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you so much for your love and support. Please give this a thumbs up if you found this helpful and feel free to share it um, because I know a lot of people struggle with, you know, doing this and it's hard for them. So uh, just make sure to do that. Comment down below. If you are from my uh, Squai Stacy Slice of Life mod uh, tutorial because I am personally uh, copy and pasting the link of this video into that description and to the comments so you guys can, you know, learn how to do this. This is, goes for every Quiet Stacy mod in general. So just because I didn't show off a uh, slice of life does not mean this doesn't apply to slice of life. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week with a new video.